Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge, is a dedicated member of the royal family and a hands-on mother to her three children. However, sometimes Kate has bent the rules for her royal brood. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William are devoted parents to their children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. And as royal children, sometimes circumstances dictate that allowances need to be made. So how did the Duchess technically break the rules for her children this year? At the Chelsea Flower Show in 2019, Kate spent months helping to design a garden for the event. The Duchess of Cambridge worked with architects Andre Davis and Adam White on the garden, which was called Back to Nature. The garden featured a treehouse suitable for children, a rope swing, edible plants and a green and blue color scheme. In a tribute to her own childhood memories of the outdoors, the Duchess also left a handwritten note in the garden, which said, Boulder hopping in the Lake District, and signed off the note with Catherine. The Duchess told the BBC, I really feel that nature and being interactive outdoors has huge benefits on our physical and mental well-being, particularly for young children. I really hope that this woodland that we have created really inspires families, kids and communities to get outside, enjoy nature and the outdoors, and spend quality time together. Kate hoped the garden would help to encourage future generations to enjoy the great outdoors, and she desperately wanted to show her children the creation she had been working on. However, the Royal Horticultural Society RHS, state on their website that they do not allow under fives, pushchairs or babies into the Chelsea Flower Show, so getting her children access to her new garden may have proved difficult. Nevertheless, the Duchess managed to get a special visit for her three royal children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, the latter of whom was just a toddler at the time. The trio were allowed access the day before the garden was open to the public, and judging by the pictures of the tots on the day, they certainly seem to have enjoyed it. Kate is not the first royal mother to have bent the rules for her children. Princess Anne and her daughter, Zara Phillips, now Tyndall, are well known for their love of horses. And back in 1989, in an unprecedented turn of events, Zara Phillips was allowed to attend Royal Ascot with her mother. Although the rules have since changed, under 18 Ness were not allowed to attend the racing event in usual circumstances back then. But for her eldest granddaughter, the Queen made an exception. In another example, Prince George and Princess Charlotte were also allowed to skip school last October for the wedding of their cousin, Princess Eugenie, at Windsor Castle. This is because the mother of three has seen how crucial the early years are to the development of a child which will impact them for years if not the rest of their life. According to a source, Kate has found work that she's really passionate about and is keen to use her platform to amplify the good works of those helping youngsters. A source told Hello Magazine, she spent a lot of time at the start of her royal life learning about social issues and challenges like addiction, homelessness, mental health. It became clear to her that one of the main causes of it all was things not going right in the early years. So she knows the potential advantages to doing things in this space. It's about solving much bigger problems but doing it early. They said Kate, who is mum to Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1, has spent a lot of time reading about a child's development. And she is showing signs of being more comfortable when meeting members of the public by giving speeches she has prepared beforehand. The source added, she's doing more of her own speeches and she's more confident because she is so sure of what she wants to say. Her confidence has grown in every way. Kate delivered her first public speech since marrying William during a visit to the East Anglia Children's Hospice in Ipswich in March 2012. The Duchess remained calm throughout her address and afterwards the palace refused to confirm if she had taken public speaking lessons. This summer Kate designed a wilderness garden for the Chelsea Flower Show which was geared towards children. She said she hoped to inspire families to spend time in the great outdoors and benefit from all that nature has to offer. Last week she paid a visit to Sunshine House Children and Young People's Health and Development Centre in Southwark, South London. Kate was eager to highlight the work of the Southwark Family Nurse Partnership which supports young mothers. 
the voluntary home visiting programs reaches out to first-time mums who receive support throughout their pregnancy and into the first years of motherhood. Earlier this month Kate and William were snapped with their two oldest children for Charlotte's first day of school at Thomas's Battersea, where George started year two. Kate missed her oldest son's first day at the South London School because of morning sickness during her third pregnancy.